At number 10, we have Matthew Lawrence. In late August, Cheryl took to TikTok to share a video of herself and accused her ex of cheating on her. Cheryl went on to say that the guy she was seeing would never talk to his mistress again, but then she found text messages and a necklace hidden in a pair of his shoes. Cheryl then went on to write across a video in which she would suggest that Matthew had been unfaithful during their marriage. The Dancing with the Star Pro would then caption the clip with the feature of Adele singing the last time from her song when we were young. Cheryl would then write, this is the last time and it's absolutely right, goodbye forever. Now Cheryl was definitely going through the blues now that her divorce was finalized, so she never did call out the cheater by name, but considering that she's never been with anybody else after the couple split, it's clear that Matthew cheated. Hey Peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all the gossip to come. At number nine, we have Patrick Carney. After three years, Michelle Branch and Patrick Carney called it quits and Michelle Branch was then arrested over a domestic dispute with her husband, who she accused of being unfaithful. The Davidson County Sheriff's Office confirmed that Michelle was taken into custody and then released on a thousand dollar bond. The singer will then be due back to court on November 7th. Just before the incident occurred, Michelle had tweeted and deleted a note two hours earlier claiming that the Black Keys drummer had cheated on her while she was at home caring for her six month old baby. Michelle would then later address that she and Patrick were splitting and she would also say that she was devastated and that a rug was completely pulled out from underneath her and now she had to figure out how she could move forward. At number eight, we have Neo. Neo and estranged wife, Crystal Renee, filed for divorce and it's alleged that Neo recently fathered a child amid cheating allegations. In August, Crystal filed paperwork and argued that she was entitled to a divorce from Neo under the grounds that their marriage is broken with no hope for fixing it and that she knows that Neo committed the act of adultery. Crystal then went on to claim that Neo had fathered a child with his mistress. The model then alleged in a really emotional Instagram post that she endured eight years of unknowingly sharing the musician with numerous women and that she was completely heartbroken by it. Now, Neo never came out to address the cheating rumors. However, he did say that he will never talk bad upon Crystal as she is the mother of his child and he'll always choose to respect her because she's a fantastic woman. At number seven, we have Sam Hunt. Now, it's never a good idea to cheat on your spouse. However, we can argue that sometimes there are certain times worse than others. And Sam Hunt cheating on his wife just months before she was due to give her first child it's one of those times. In papers his wife filed back in May, Hannah cited that Sam was found guilty of inappropriate marital conduct and adultery. TMZ would also report that within her filing, Hannah also checked a box reading that the husband is guilty of such cruel and inhumane treatment or conduct towards the spouse as renders cohabitation unsafe or improper. Now, the divorce papers were filed just a few months before she was due for having her child and the couple's five-year wedding anniversary. Hannah is now looking to receive child support, alimony, and primary custody of the couple's child. At number six, we have Angelina Pavernik. Jersey Shore star Angelina Pavernik had a secret affair for two years behind her husband Chris's back. Insiders have said that Angelina has been dating New Jersey native Joseph Tarallo throughout much of her marriage to Chris before he filed for divorce back in January. Joe and Angelina started seeing each other back in 2020 and immediately started to spend more time together. Apparently, she was barely going home and it caused a lot of trouble for her and Chris's relationship. When Chris learned about the relationship, he immediately moved out of the house just before the holiday season, and then he would give her another chance. However, she continued to see Joe, and it caused Chris to file for a divorce. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with Sophia Bush, Chad Michael Murray, and Paris Hilton. Now, Chad Michael Murray is one fine man, okay? Let me just say that. And I did not know that he got together with Paris Hilton. Okay, I don't know, I just can't picture them together, you know? But I guess opposites attract. One Tree Hill star Sophia and Chad ended up having chemistry on and off screen. In December of 2005, they actually got married, but the marriage was very short lived. Five months later, they separated. And apparently, Chad was spotted with Paris Hilton. Now, this is where it gets messy. So at the time the two allegedly got together, Paris was dating Nick Carter. Nick's younger brother, Aaron Carter, eventually spilled the tea, saying that Paris cheated on his brother with Chad Michael Murray. So they both cheated on their partners. 
A year later, Sophia and Chad filed for divorce. Number four, Bella Hadid, The Weeknd, and Selena Gomez. Arguably one of the biggest love triangles of the 2010s, Bella Hadid, The Weeknd, and Selena Gomez's saga isn't one we're likely to forget anytime soon. After dating for 18 months, Hadid and The Weeknd split up in November 2016. Just two months later, the singer was photographed making out with Selena Gomez, and both Hadid and Gomez unfollowed each other, with the act sparking something of an on again, off again Instagram feud between them. About a year later, their relationship came to an end, and Gomez was seen kissing her former flame, Justin Bieber, shortly afterwards. All right, guys, at number three is Kylie Jenner, Tyga, and Black China. This has probably been the biggest love triangle of today's generation. Millennials were dying over this, and they just can't. So, Tyga and Black China started dating back in 2011, and they had their son in 2012, just a couple months before they got engaged. They dated for more than two years until Tyga started hanging out with Kylie in 2014. Tyga and China called off their engagement in August later that year after Tyga was appearing all over Kylie's Instagrams, which at the time they were claiming to be just friends. The two girls began to feud through social media, taking shots at each other, which led to China posting text message screenshots that showed Tyga was actually trying to date both of them at the same time. Kylie claimed that the texts were fake and went on to date Tyga regardless of the feud. They continued to date, and China shocked both of them when she started to date Kylie's older brother, Rob. Kardashian. Talk about the ultimate revenge. Luckily, all the drama is over now, and neither couple ended up staying together. Number two, John Mulaney, Olivia Munn, and Anne Marie Tendler. In early September, amid questions about the timeline of John Mulaney's romance with Olivia Munn, the comedian's ex wife, Anne Marie Tendler, reportedly knew that he was doing things with other women before he went to rehab and before they ended their marriage in 2020. It wasn't entirely clear when his relationship with Olivia started, but it appeared that John was going to great lengths to dispute the idea that he cheated. Anne-Marie divorced from comedian Mulaney after six years of marriage. In a statement at the time, the artist said, quote, I am heartbroken that John has decided to end our marriage. I wish him support and success as he continues his recovery. One week later, the news broke that Mulaney had started dating actress Olivia Munn, and less than two months later, it was confirmed that Munn was pregnant with her and Mulaney's first child. Whether or not there was any overlap between the two women is still very uncertain. And coming Coming in at number one, get ready for it, Olivia Rodrigo, Sabrina Carpenter, and Joshua Bassett. It seemed like the internet exploded when Olivia released her number one single, Driver's License, and fans were quick to connect it to her high school musical, The Musical co star Joshua Bassett. The heartbreaking, emotional roller coaster of a song talks about the love triangle between herself, Joshua, and Sabrina Carpenter. As the lyrics implied, she was mourning a breakup that had a huge effect on her, and things got super intense when fans discovered. Joshua was dating Sabrina because of the not so subtle reference in her song where Rodrigo mentioned a blonde girl who was much older than her. It was then that people jumped on the hay train against Sabrina, calling her a homewrecker and just about every insult under the sun. To make matters worse, Sabrina released a song called Skin to defend herself from Rodrigo's claims and tell her side of the story. Unfortunately, that didn't go down well with fans and it only served to create more drama in the triangle. Number 10, Scott Distick, Courtney Kardashian, and Sophia Ritchie. Scott and Courtney's decade long romance was very well documented on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. And although fans loved Scott's quick witted, snarky humor, it was obvious that he had some trouble remaining committed to Courtney. The couple were on and off again for years and had three kids together Mason, Penelope, and Rain. But around 2015, it was done for good, and Scott moved on with a much younger Sophia. But the whole family was against them, including Kendall, who commented some shady stuff about them on an IG post. And even Sophia's dad, Lionel Richie. Despite this drama, they stayed together for nearly three years, and she was even on the show at one point. It was an awkward mess because Scott was still co parenting with Courtney, all while dating Sophia, who was only 18 at the time and had been a family friend for years. Fans thought the whole thing came off as kind of creepy. Number nine, Ed Sheeran, Ellie Golding, and Niall Horan. This love triangle is a total whirlwind and was extremely chaotic at the time. Ellie and Ed went from casually dating to almost being a certified couple in 2013. But upon meeting Niall, Ellie was allegedly so taken with the One Direction singer that she ended up cheating on Ed. They managed to keep everything quiet until Ed released his 2014 single, Don't, which accused Ellie of that exact thing. Fans were very quick to put the pieces together. 
especially because the lyrics take a deep dive into the whole story, even describing the moment where Ellie admitted to sleeping with Niall and started begging Ed for forgiveness, and how he never saw it coming because he didn't perceive Niall as a threat. Later in interviews, Ed said the song was about a time when someone he was seeing hooked up with one of his friends when they were all staying in the same hotel. Although no names were mentioned, fans were easily able to put the pieces together and realize just how crazy the story was. Number 8. Pete Davidson, Ariana Grande and Cassie David Pete and Cassie dated for two years from 2016 to 2018. The SNL star and actress who just happened to be Larry David's daughter seemed like a great match and a cute couple until Pete got engaged to Ariana exactly a month after his breakup with Cassie. Now, the timing is a bit suspicious with the quick engagement taking everyone by surprise, including Cassie herself. To make matters worse, the romance between Pete and Ariana was very public and became the most talked about celebrity couple of the summer 2018, melting hearts worldwide with their adorable social media love fest. Pete and Ariana split after a while with Ariana releasing Thank You Next in 2019 to document the breakup and her commitment to herself. While no words regarding the timeline were exchanged in any public forum, it was assumed that things got a little messy behind the scenes of this love triangle. And at number 7 is Hilary Duff, Aaron Carter and Lindsay Lohan. This one hits me right in the feels because it was some serious hot tea back in the days. Let's rewind back to the young love when Aaron and Hillary started dating in 2001 after working together on the Disney show Lizzie McGuire. They were together for over a year and a half, but Aaron apparently became bored and wanted to date two girls at one time, as teenage boys do. He had eyes for another young star, Lindsay Lohan. Aaron told the story to Complex saying, I quote, I started dating Hillary on my 13th birthday. I was dating her for like a year and a half and then I just got a little bored, so I went and I started getting to know Lindsay, dating Lindsay. Ultimately, this of course caused some Disney feuding between the two ladies. Hillary later told Allure magazine that it was a complicated love triangle and said, It made us both look bad and put up a big weirdness. Lindsay added more fuel to the fire by staging a sketch on Saturday Night Live that mocked the rival between them, but Hillary did not find it so funny and commented on it saying, I do not think it's an honor to be made fun of on Saturday Night Live. I mean, maybe not for a reason like this one. 13 year old heartbreak is no joke. Number 6. Jennifer Aniston, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie Jen and Brad got married in 2000 in a lavish Malibu wedding and things were perfect for the Hollywood it couple until they decided to announce their divorce in 2005. In walks Angelina who met Brad for the first time on the set of Mr and Mrs Smith. The movie was filled with romantic tension and it's easy to see how Brad fell in love with Angelina but the problem was that he was still married to Jen. They allegedly still got to together despite his marriage because Hey, don't let your wife stop you from finding the love of your life, or so the saying goes. But interestingly enough, Brad and Angelina's relationship wasn't just a fling, and they actually went on to date for many years and had a large family before finally getting married in 2014. The love triangle was one of the biggest scandals in the early 2000s and still dominates the tabloids to this day. At number five, we have Liam Payne. Now, Liam Payne landed himself into hot water after his fiance, Maya Henry, discovered that Liam had cheated on her after an incident. Instagram fan account posted a picture of Liam with Aliana Mala. The images that were originally shared to Aliana's Instagram story included one photo of Liam wrapping his hands around Aliana's back. In a series of photos that would show the two holding hands, Maya would then comment on the photo to say, I love all the fans so much, but please stop sending me these pictures of my fiance wrapped around another woman. This is not me, and it's hard enough knowing that this happened without seeing it. Now, Liam didn't take too kindly for being outed for being unfaithful, nor being referred to Maya as her fiance. And his agent would then later say that Maya's comments referring to Liam as her fiance are untrue and misleading. At number four, we have Tristan Thompson. So, since Chloe and Tristan started dating back in 2016, the couple has been consistently on and off. However, in the beginning of the year, Tristan would propose to Chloe, and the two would be secretly engaged for nine months, and they even revealed that they were going to have a second child. Now, around this time, Marley Nichols would come out to say that she was also pregnant with Tristan's child and that he had to take full responsibility for his actions. At first, Tristan did what he always tries to do and he tried to deny the rumors, but after a paternity test proved that he was the father, the NBA player would then come out to say, today the paternity test results revealed that I am the father of Mara Lee Nichols' child and he went to acknowledge that he hurt Chloe, who he was still dating at the time when his newborn was conceived. At number three, we have Randall Emmett. Now, Randall Emmett became majorly burned 
burned after getting caught cheating by his fiance Lala Kent earlier this year. When the Vanderpump Rules star wiped her Instagram clean of Emmett back in early October, many fans started to speculate something was seriously wrong. Emmett would then be accused of cheating on Lala with a couple of girls while he was in Nashville. Emmett was able to get away with cheating on Lala for so long because he was using burner Instagram accounts and he had a burner phone that he would use to text other girls on. Now Randall hasn't come out to confirm the allegations, but he has said he'll never talk ill about Lala because she is the mother of his one year old child. And number two, we have Matthew Rondeau. Now Shauna Mochler posted some pretty cryptic messages about Matthew Rondeau following their breakup. The post that she would post on her Instagram story would feel rumors that Matthew cheated on her with multiple women. Shauna would write, stop stressing over a guy who can't be yours because he wants to be with everyone. Now their breakup would come as somewhat of a surprise to fans as Shauna has been gushing about how supportive Matthew has been with helping her create new content. Matthew would then in a deleted Instagram story come out to say that he would never speak to Shauna ever again and he also claimed that she had been seeing other people while they were still together. And at number one today we have Travis Scott. So last week Instagram model Rojan Carr shared on her private story a video of Travis on set of a shoot. This video would start speculation that the two have met up. Now Travis would come out to say that a lot of weird things were happening and going on and that an uninvited person showed up on his set and that fans needed to stop telling fictional stories. Now Rojan would then come out to say that everyone is aware that he and her have been seeing each other and in recent times they have been together and that he cheats on Kylie every single night. The model then went on to note that she was even with Travis on Valentine's Day and when she ran out, Travis had every girl blowing up her phone to get her to come back. A sources claim that Kylie is so sick of hearing about Travis cheating accusations and she loves him but she's sick of his commitment issues. So what do you think? Did Travis cheat on Kylie? Let me know in the comments below. Starting off this countdown, we have Meg Ryan, Dennis Quaid, and Russell Crowe. Meg Ryan was married to Dennis Quaid for nine years until she decided to cheat on him with Russell Crowe. This happened while filming the movie Proof of Life with Russell in Ecuador. Somehow, news got out about Ryan and Crow, and Quaid soon filed for divorce. But Ryan turned it around saying that the divorce was all Quaid's fault, and that he had also been unfaithful during their marriage. In the end, Ryan lost Crow and Quaid, and the movie tanked in the box office. So maybe that's karma. Moving on to number 9, we have Aaron Carter, Hilary Duff, and Lindsay Lohan. Back in the early 2000s, Aaron Carter was quite the heartthrob and ladies man. Catching the the hearts of fans and celebrities all around the world. Well, Aaron met Hillary when he guest starred in the Lizzie McGuire Christmas special. If you guys remember that, smash that like button because I do. Then on his 13th birthday, the pair officially began dating. They were together for almost two years when he cheated on her with Lindsay Lohan. In fact, he was two timing her. So he was dating Lindsay and Hillary at the same time. Now this is what Aaron had to say. I started dating Hillary on my 13th birthday. I was dating her for like a year and a half and then I just got a little bored. So I went and I started getting to know Lindsay, dating Lindsay. Then I didn't want to do that anymore so I got back with Hillary. And then I ended up cheating on Hillary with her best friend. That's nothing to smile about, she wasn't even that good looking either. End of quote. I didn't just add that in, he also said that. So he literally got bored and was like sure, let's fool around with other women. She's Aaron. In our 8th spot today we have Laura Dern, Billy Bob Thornton, and Angelina Jolie. Honestly, people might hate me for saying this, but Billy Bob Thornton and Angelina Jolie were a hot couple. I'm sorry. Well, Laura Dern and Billy Bob started dating in 1997 while on the set of Ellen. The couple dated for three years and even were engaged. But in 1999, he called it quits, and a year later, he married Angelina Jolie. That one's gotta hurt. According to Dern, she said, and I quote, I left our home to work on a movie, and while I was away, my boyfriend got married, and I've never heard from him again. That is very harsh. Number seven, Taylor Swift, Calvin Harris, and Tom Hiddleston. Taylor and Calvin were the golden Pinterest couple in 2015, and seemed to be the perfect pairing as soon as they got together. But all that fell apart just after they celebrated their one year anniversary, when Taylor was seen dancing with Tom at the 2016 Met Gala. Soon after, photos were posted of Taylor and Tom kissing in Rhode Island, which shocked the Swifty fandom. They traveled to Rome and partied together at Taylor's 4th of July party, but things got really messy when 
Calvin released a song that implied Taylor cheated on him and then Taylor called him out for not giving her credit on a song that they co-wrote together called This Is What You Came For. Things got even more dramatic when Taylor's 2017 album Reputation came out and featured a song called Getaway Car which basically says that Tom was her escape route from Calvin. Yikes. Halfway through the list at number 5 is Jennifer Aniston, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Everyone knows the story of this love triangle but maybe it's been a while for you so let me refresh your memory. Brad and Jennifer were Hollywood's hottest couple when they started dating back in 1998. After two years of dating, they got married in a big $1 million celebration in Malibu. Things were looking up for the couple up until 2005 when Brad started working with Angelina on their movie Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Rumors quickly spread that Brad was having an affair with Angelina who continued to deny it until later on. Jennifer and Brad announced their divorce in 2005 and not long after did Angelina and Brad begin dating. That is when Angelina admitted that the two of them fell in love while filming their movie, which would still make Brad a married man at the time. Brangelina then became the new it couple and got married in 2014, but they later got divorced too. There is only one common denominator in both of these failed marriages and that is you Brad. In our fourth spot we have Kristen Stewart, Robert Pattinson and Rupert Sanders. Now I don't know if you remember when this drama came out, but I do. And that's because I was a hardcore Twilight fan and I shipped Kristen and Robert to the moon and back. When I heard she cheated on him, I was so mad at her. Like she didn't even know who I was, but I was mad. Anyways, while filming Snow White and the Huntsman, Kristen got with the director Rupert Sanders and the two were caught kissing in public. Kristen was dating Robert at the time and Rupert was married to Liberty Ross. Rob and Kristen separated for a bit, then got back together again, only to break up again in 2013. Whereas Rupert's wife filed for divorce in 2013. Number three. Dua Lipa, FKA Twigs, and Aaron Piper. Dua Lipa shocked fans as she found herself caught up in a love triangle with Netflix star Aaron Piper and fellow singer FKA Twigs. Dua and Aaron first started dating in 2013, but by 2019, their on again, off again romance was over for good. The British singer and the model pulled the plug on their two year relationship despite doing everything from crisis talks to taking a break to try to salvage it. In between a period of reconciliation, the singer was captured with Aaron in a nightclub while in Madrid. However, things got a little messy when fellow singer FKA Twigs shared a video to her TikTok page of her making out with Aaron just one day later, leaving fans completely puzzled. In a TikTok video to promote her new song Killer, the pair were seen entwined and enraptured with each other. Taking to Twitter, fans expressed their shock at the messy situation. And while neither Dua or Aaron have spoken about the videos, the pair could easily just be friends having a good night out together. In our third spot today, we have Bella Thorne, her brother, and another Bella. Bella Thorne's brother, Remy Thorne, was dating a girl named Bella Pendergast for three years. The pair broke up around 2015. Bella Thorne was dating Greg Sulkin, and when she broke up, she quickly came out as bisexual on her Twitter. A little while later, she was spotted with her brother's ex being a little too close. They shared a number of photos holding hands and kissing. And people were like, is she seriously dating her brother's ex? And yes, the answer is yes, she did. But shortly after, Bella Thorne decided to go after Greg Sulkin's friend, Tyler Posey. Then a month later, she dumped him and was with Charlie Puth. And don't get me started with the whole Tana Modson relationship, okay? That's a whole other mess on its own. And in our number one spot today, we have Olivia Wilde, Jason Sudeikis, and Harry Styles. Now, I must be living under a bus because I love Jason Sudeikis, but I did not know that he was engaged to Olivia Wilde. The pair first met in 2011 and began dating a few months later. In 2012, they got engaged. And in 2014 and 2016, they gave birth to two children. But in 2020, the pair announced that they had split. A few months later, Olivia was spotted with Harry Styles after attending a wedding together. They both met during the movie Don't Worry Darling, and some believe that Styles might be one of the reasons as to why the two split. One source said, and I quote, Olivia called off the engagement in early November, but only after she had already gotten close to Harry. The source continued on saying, whether Harry knows it or not, he was the reason for the split and it blindsided Jason. Starting off the list at number 10 is the triangle between Ariana Grande, Big Sean, and Naya Rivera. You might already know this sticky situation since it made headlines back in 2014, with Naya getting a front row seat to watch the triangle unfold. Big Sean and Naya were together from March 2013 until April 2014 and were even engaged and happily planning their wedding, or so it seemed. The rapper called off the wedding and claimed that it was just because of Naya's jealousy issue. 
abuse. But Naya claims that he was giving her reasons to be jealous, and she caught him red handed. She told Us Weekly, We'd been fighting for five days straight while he was traveling, and then on the one day that he was back in LA, he said he didn't want to see me. Well, I've got a key to your house. I walk in, I go downstairs, and guess what little girl is sitting cross legged on the couch listening to music? It rhymes with Shmariana Shmande. <laughs> Her words, not mine. The worst part is that Naya found out about their split through Big Sean's publicist who issued a statement that the wedding was off. She said she learned that she wasn't getting married from the internet and at the same time as the rest of the world found out. How messed up is that? Ariana and Sean did end up dating after that, but split only 8 months later. Number 9. Kevin Hart in Anoko Parish During an interview in 2017 with 105.1 FM's The Breakfast Club, Kevin Hart would admit to cheating on his then pregnant wife during a trip to Las Vegas. In the interview after the confession, Kevin Hart would say, I'm hoping that she has the heart to where she can forgive me and understand that this is not going to be a reoccurring thing and allow me to recover from my effing mistake. Kevin would then reveal that his wife, whom he shares his son Kenzo with, was expecting a baby girl in 2020 with him and held him accountable for his actions. He would then say, she came to an amazing conclusion of, I like the fact that we have a family that we have a household and I like the fact we now have got a job to do better. That's what you owe me. You owe me to get better. Kevin then explained on the School of Greatness podcast in 2020 that it was her understanding that they didn't need to let the world affect their inside that saved their relationship and he even credited his wife for setting that tone. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming number 8 we have Cardi B and Offset. Back in 2017, Migos member Offset would come under fire for multiple allegations of infidelity after he appeared to be caught in bed with other women in videos that surfaced online. Cardi B would then respond to the rumors about the relationships on her Twitter telling fans that this stuff happens to everyone. A source then would later reveal exclusively to us and said that she had zero intention on leaving her fiance. Then in June of 2018, news broke that the two had secretly got married in Atlanta back in September 2017. In the following month, the duo would then welcome their first child. Cardi would then reveal in an Instagram video in December 2018 that she and Offset had called it quits after more than a year year of marriage. In that same month, Offset former Fling, who he allegedly hooked up with in June of 2018, apologized for her part in the pair's drama. Offset later publicly apologized to his estranged wife twice before the two reconciled and hit the Grammys red carpet together in February of 2019. Number 7. Beyonce and Jay-Z Back in 2017, Jay-Z would finally admit to the rumors of his infidelity and that they were true. After he made a series of thinly veiled apologies to his wife, Beyonce, on his album that came after Beyonce released her own album, Lemonade, which took on the empowerment and revenge when she exposed her husband and said that he cheated on her with someone she referred to as Becky with the good hair. And to this day, we're all still wondering who Becky really is. Jay-Z, however, would finally spill everything out in an interview with the New York Times and it would be the first time Jay-Z would admit that he actually had been unfaithful when it came to his relationship with Beyonce. In the interview, Jay-Z would say, you have to survive so you go into survival mode. And when you go into survival mode, what happens? You shut down all emotions. So even with women, you gotta shut down emotionally so you can't connect. In my case, it's deep. And then all the things happen from there like infidelity. Now he wouldn't elaborate on the identity of Becky, but Beyonce and Jay-Z were able to work together on their relationship and they're still together to this day. Number 6. Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith Back in April of 2022, Jada Pinkett Smith would admit that she was having an affair with singer August while she was married to Will Smith. The actress revealed that five and a half years ago, her marriage was going through a rough patch and she was separated from Will with the intention to get a divorce. She then had a relationship with August. During her conversation with her husband Will on her Facebook series, Red Table Talk, Jada would explain, I started a friendship with August and we actually became really, really good friends. She would then add that she wanted to help the musician with his mental state and found resources to help pull him through a troubling time. The actor revealed, I got into different kinds of entanglements with August and in the process of that relationship, I definitely realized you can't find happiness outside yourself. She also wanted to make it clear that August was not a homewrecker, but she and Will were going through a process of healing in a much different manner 
as a couple. Number five, Orlando Bloom, Miranda Kerr, and Justin Bieber. Now, this one is really strange. Orlando and Miranda were married from 2010 to 2013 and even share a son together, Flynn, who was born in January of 2011. Things were going really well for the couple when rumors swirled about a hookup between Miranda and Justin Bieber at a 2012 Victoria's Secret after party. And coincidentally, the pair filed for divorce in 2013. While at a restaurant in Ibiza, Bloom and Bieber bumped into each other and the pop star made some crude comments about Miranda from across the restaurant. Bloom stormed over and punched punched him just before the singer was surrounded by bodyguards and appeared to cower away from the confrontation. Bieber then took to Instagram to post a photo of Bloom wiping his eyes, trying to insinuate that he lost the fight. Everything escalated so quickly and egos were being bruised left and right. Safe to say this whole thing was one big heated mess. Here we are at number four with Kristen Cavallari, Stephen Coletti and Lauren Conrad. All my Laguna Beach and The Hills fans will know this one off the top of their heads and might even be a little emotional about it still. If you haven't seen either of these reality shows, Shows, one of the major plotline stories was the love triangle between the three of them. Kristen and Steven were dating and Lauren was a friend of Steven's which Kristen was not a fan of. We never knew if the show was real or fake which made fans question if the love triangle was even real. But Kristen opened up to Buzzfeed almost 10 years later and confirmed that it was very much real. When asked if she actually had a rivalry with Lauren, she said, We were never friends, we just weren't. I didn't hate her before MTV came and that's what it sort of turned into. And that's because I felt like she she was trying to steal my boyfriend. But the show was to blame for that because they did keep scheduling scenes where Steven would be around Lauren and they'd be forced to hang out with each other. So the love triangle never even had a chance of being worked out because it was all on a reality TV show. In the end though, neither girls ended up with Steven. And for anyone wondering, I was team Lauren. In our third spot today we have David Spade, Laura Flynn Boyle, and Jack Nicholson. This is a very odd trio. But apparently, Jack Nicholson stole David Spade's girlfriend, Laura Flynn Boyle, from him in 1999. According to him, that's what happened. They had been dating for a year when Jack literally asked her out in front of David. Now, David got all defensive, being like, I know you're gonna go out with him anyway. And she was like, no way, he's worse than Trump. Like, no lie, that's what she said. But in the end, the two were spotted together. Actually, they got in a car crash together, and apparently, Boyle climbed out of the sunroof and yelled, I have a boyfriend, I can't be here. But she was caught, like literally red-handed. In spot number two is John Mayer, Katy Perry, and Taylor Swift, another love triangle of the century that only came about because of the feuding between the girls. The rival between the two singers was no secret. I mean, Taylor made up an entire song and music video about it called The Bad Blood. No one ever understood why they hated each other so much, but it was always said that they fought over backup dancers. Apparently, they shared some of the same dancers, or they wanted them on their tours at the same time, whatever, first world problems. But because they both dated John Mayer, it seemed to add some extra fuel to the fire. Even though they dated John a few years apart, it didn't matter because that's how long the ongoing feud was between the girls. Taylor and John dated in 2009, so you can imagine how unimpressed she was to learn that her ex was now dating her enemy later on in 2012. Good news is, we saw the girls finally end their battle this year in 2019 when they hugged it out in Taylor Swift's new music video, You Need to Calm Down. Taking the number one spot is Courtney Love, Kurt Cobain, and Billy Corgan. Courtney Love and Kurt Cobain will always be considered one of rock and roll's most iconic couples, but they first got together when she was with another famous rocker. She was originally dating Billy Corgan from the band The Smashing Pumpkins in the early 90s. She revealed during an interview that the two of them broke up because Corgan wouldn't pay for her to fly home after a show. His band was playing shows with Nirvana at the time, so she ended up staying with the Nirvana band members after her fight with Corgan. And that is when she got involved with Cobain. She immediately began dating him, and they were married from 1992 to 1994 when they welcomed their daughter into the world in August 1992. Courtney later admitted that their daughter was conceived on a night she was supposed to see Billy. Let's just say that she's never been really shy at spilling the details on this whole love triangle. Coming number 10, we have Adam Levine and Bahati Prinsloo. Adam Levine started to make headlines when an Instagram model named Sumner Stroff claimed they had an affair shortly after he announced his wife's third pregnancy. Adam, for his part, tried to deny the cheating accusations in a social media statement when he said, I used poor judgment in speaking with any other woman, 
than my wife in any kind of flirtatious manner. The Maroon 5 band member wrote via Instagram story in September 2022, I did not have an affair. Nevertheless, I crossed the line during a regrettable period of my life. In certain instances, it became inappropriate. I have addressed that and have taken proactive steps to remedy this with my family. Sumner, who clearly didn't like the Maroon 5 frontman's answer, then came for the singer again when she came out to claim that not only did they have a consensual relationship, but Adam also tried to name his unborn child after her and asked her if she was okay with that. Adam would then add, my wife and family is all I care about in this world. To be this naive and stupid enough to risk the only thing that truly matters to me was a great mistake I could ever make. I will never make it again. While Prinsloo did not respond to her husband's statement, Sumner would make one final jab at Adam when she took to her Instagram to throw some more shade and urge someone to give him a dictionary. Up next at number 9 is Justin Bieber. Miranda Kerr and Orlando Bloom. Do you guys remember that time that Orlando punched Justin in the face? I feel like that was so underrated and people forgot about it way too fast. Let me refresh your memory. The altercation took place in a restaurant in Ibiza when the two of them ran into each other. The only reason they had beef was because Orlando was married to Victoria's Secret model Miranda Kerr who was reportedly sending flirty texts to Justin. Paparazzi caught pictures of Justin and Miranda looking all cozy while hanging out after the 2012 Victoria's Secret fashion show. One photo showed her kissing him on the cheek. She denied every allegation that they were more than just friends, but that didn't stop Bloom from having some anger towards the Biebs. Eyewitnesses tell TMZ about the fight, which happened in Cipriani restaurant, which was apparently packed with celebs at the time. The fight was caught on tape as you can see Orlando throwing the first fist, but you can hear Justin scream, what's up? Kind of asking for it. After leaving the restaurant, Justin threw gasoline on the fire by posting this picture of Miranda on his Instagram. And then, after the backlash, he ended up deleting it. Sliding into the number eight spot is Taylor Swift, Joe Jonas, and Camila Bell. Joe and Taylor were one of the music industry's cutest couples back in 2008. They first got together in July and ended in October after Joe ended it with a 27 second phone call. We only know this because Taylor shared the story on The Ellen Show in a big drop the bomb moment. I'm not even gonna be able to remember the boy who broke up with me over the phone in 25 seconds when I was 18. <laughs> And the only reason she knew it was 27 seconds is because her call log literally said the call was a total of 27 seconds. So the breakup was probably like 25 seconds. Not long after the breakup, Joe was seen hanging around Camila Bell, and Taylor revealed to Us Weekly that she was the reason why they broke up in the first place. So what does Taylor do after a breakup? She writes a song, of course. She admitted that her song Forever and Always was about Joe, but also showed fans that she doesn't only write songs about the ex-boyfriend. Her song Better Than Revenge was geared towards the actress, and the lyrics were pretty harsh. She sang, I quote, She's not a saint, she's not what you think, she's an actress. She's better known for the things she does on the mattress. Boom. Mic drop. Moving on to number 7 we have Alex Rodriguez, Kate Hudson and Cameron Diaz. Now this dude has dated all the stars, I swear, like Madonna, JLo, come on now. Anyways, Kate Hudson and A-Rod dated for 7 months before calling it quits in December of 2009. Just a few months later, Cameron Diaz was seen leaving his house with overnight bags, you guys know what that means. And according to sources, Hudson was not happy with this at all. Maybe this was payback for Hudson hooking up with Cameron ex-boyfriend Justin Timberlake shortly after they broke up. Who knows? But in 2012, it seems like they got over this drama because they were quite chummy with each other at the Academy Awards. In 2013, Diaz referred to Hudson as one of her good friends. Swiping the number 6 spot is Britney Spears, Kevin Federline, and Char Jackson. Kevin was dating Char, who was actually his fiance at the time, and was pregnant with their second child together. They were playing family and seemed happy doing it, but in 2004, Kevin left the relationship for pop sensation Britney Spears. After only 5 months of them dating, they were married and soon became pregnant with their first child together. They were married for 2 years, from 2004 to 2006, and had 2 sons together. What was so messy about the situation was that Kevin got together with Britney while while Char was pregnant with his child, so people were obviously slamming him all over the media. Any attention the new couple got was negative attention. Char commented on the relationship and said, It wasn't like just breaking up a relationship, it was like breaking up a family. She went on to get her revenge by working hard in silence and created her own cosmetic line called Relation Lips with the first lip gloss named He Cheated. You go girl. 
let me buy one of those lip glosses. Number five, Ned Fulmer and Ariel Fulmer. Since Ned Fulmer cheated on his wife Ariel Fulmer back in September, the scandal has pretty much took over the internet. And every month, fans are still wanting to know if the couple is actually still together. Ned, who married Ariel in 2012, definitely had a lot of fixing to do to his relationship after it started to circulate that he had cheated on Ariel with Alex Herring, who is the producer of The Try Guys, a video company founded by Ned and three former BuzzFeed employees. The rumors came from a Reddit thread that noted Ned was missing from three of the Try Guys latest posts at the time, as well as the group's podcast. It was also noted that Ariel was missing from her podcast, You Can Sit With Us, which she hosts with the partners of the Try Guy members. Rumors then started to be speculated that the couple were caught kissing at a club in New York City, and then a photo claimed the rumors were true came out. As a result, Ned would find himself being booted from the show, but he was somehow able to save his relationship with his wife Ariel in the process. At number four, Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade. While many of us thought that Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade were the perfect couple throughout the years, their relationship has really been put to the test as they've been together for over 13 years. And in that time, they've weathered hectic schedules, infertility issues. In Gabrielle's 2021 memoir, You Got Anything Stronger, she would reveal that they have survived infidelity as well. In the book, she would write that in 20. 2013 before they got married, Dwayne would cheat on her and would father another child with another woman. She would then also go on to say it should go without saying that we were not in a good place in our relationship at the time that the child was conceived. To say I was devastated is to pick a word on a low shelf for convenience. In an interview with People Magazine in 2021, the couple also opened up about how they made things work with Dwayne, saying it's about learning about each other, learning what she wants for her life. and for her career, for trying to support all those things, which Gabrielle replied, we humble ourselves, listen, and we meet in the middle. Number three, Woody Harrelson and Laura Louie. Woody and Laura's relationship started when he hired her to be his assistant back in 1987. And years after working together, they couldn't deny that they had fallen in love. Woody even wrote a song for her to express his feelings. And then he would tell the Hollywood Reporter that after he played the song, she would say, Woody, I've been in love with you for the last two and a half years. But what started off as a fairy tale come true would be put to the test in 2002 when Woody went home with not one, but three different women. One of which turned out to be working with the paparazzi and leaked a story to a publication called News of the World. In the same Hollywood Reporter profile, Woody would open up about the challenging time and how Laura stood by his side through it all. He would even say, Laura, this really gives you a sense of depth of her compassion. When she said to me after finding out was that it must be really hard for you to have this stuff exposed, he would then go on to know that that didn't mean that she wasn't upset and that she gave him the standard texting grovel before forgiving him. Number two, Brittany Cartwright and Jax Taylor. Vanderpump Rules stars Brittany Cartwright and Jax Taylor really went through the emotional ringer after Jax met Brittany in Vegas between seasons three and four. The couple was then put to the test two years later in 2017 when it came out that Jax had cheated with his former co-worker and co-star Faith Stowers. Talking about his infidelity in the interview with US Weekly, Jax would say, I just kind of fell into a deep hole and that happens out here sometimes. You get sucked into this lifestyle. Ultimately, Britney decided to stay by his side and even accept his mayor proposal a year after the scandal happened. And then she even said, I see him every single day making efforts and he's completely changed. The way he treats me, the way he talks to me, the way he listens to me. Every single thing about our relationship is better. In the time since they have left the reality show to focus on raising their son Cruz, who was born in April of 2021. And coming in at number one today, we have Tori Spelling and Dean McDermott. Tori and Dean first met on the set of the 2005 movie Mind Over Murder, and naturally the two had amazing chemistry. And by 2006, they would find themselves getting married. But in 2014, after eight years of marriage, four kids, and a reality show, Dean would come clean about cheating on his wife on an episode of their show, True Tory. In the episode, he would say, I feel ashamed. 
I never felt shame before. You were at a Christmas event and I was effing around. That's disgusting. Tori has since actually been pretty open about the work they put into their marriage over the years and the ways Dean's cheating has affected their relationship. In a 2020 interview on the Woman on Top podcast, she said they were still dealing with the repercussions of his actions, but that I can make my own money, I can be a single mom, but I actually really love him and want to work on this. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but we're going to try. Coming in number 10 today, we have Tristan Thompson and Khloe Kardashian. On April 11, 2018, photos of Tristan Thompson would start to circulate online where it would show him cheating on his then nine month pregnant girlfriend, Khloe Kardashian. And just like that, we all guessed things would make a turn for the worse. TMZ would then post a video from October 2017 that showed Tristan kissing two other women at a club. Despite all the cheating rumors, Tristan was with Khloe for the birth of their child as seen on an episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. The two would then remain a couple and would end up fully getting back together. However, in February 2019, Tristan truly wasn't to give up his ways as reports would start to surface again that Khloe Kardashian and Tristan had split because he had cheated on her and this time with a close friend of the family, Kylie Jenner's bestest friend and roommate, Jordan Woods. When anonymous party attendees told TMZ that Tristan and Jordan were spotted throughout the night being all over each other and making out, Jordan's actions would become the ultimate betrayal to the family. Tristan and Khloe, however, would reconcile again, but they would appear to break up for good not so long after a paternity scandal involving Tristan and another woman broke. This would happen around the same time Tristan and Khloe were expecting another child together as well. Number nine, Cardi B and Offset. After three years of marriage, Cardi B would file for a divorce from Offset after rumors started to circulate that he had cheated on her. While Cardi would make the decision to call off the divorce and get back together with Offset, this cheating scandal would definitely ruin Hollywood and the cheating rumors haven't exactly gone away. It all started when Takashi's 6 9 girlfriend shared a flirty DM that Offset had sent her on Instagram. Cardi would then reveal that Offset's Instagram got hacked when the DM was sent and it wasn't really from him. In her Vogue interview, Cardi confirmed Offset cheated on her and she would say, when me and my husband got into our issues, you know, he cheated and everything and I decided to stay with him and work together with him. A lot of people were so mad at me. A lot of women felt disappointed in me. While it seems like trolls don't want to see Cardi and Offset end up together, there still continues to be cheating rumors surrounding the couple. With the latest rumor claiming that Offset had cheated on Cardi with Saweetie, Cardi has been forced to clap back by saying, no baby, you lying. You're making crazy lies and stating it and putting female rappers in it with no receipts. No blog ever spoke on this and all of a sudden you come out of jail five days ago and you made up a lie in two hours with no receipts. And honestly, I just think everybody just needs to leave Cardi and Offset alone already. Hey my little peaches, are you enjoying this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming to number eight, we have Beyonce and Jay-Z. When Beyonce released her much anticipated album, Lemonade, she put a spotlight onto her marriage with Jay-Z and since there has been so much speculation about who Becky with the good hair is, that it's even become a major meme. While the duo was pretty quiet about whether Lemonade was based on their marriage, it wasn't until 2017 that we would know that it was the truth when Jay-Z released his album, 444, which was full of apologies to Beyonce and to their daughter, Blue. He would also open up in an interview with David Letterman about how his infidelities nearly destroyed their marriage and how he has done work to repair their union. Jay-Z would say, much like you, I have a beautiful wife who was understanding and who knew that I'm not the worst of what I've done and who did the work of going to therapy and really, we love each other. We put in the work. While JC has recently continued to grow into the proud father and husband he is today, it's been pretty outstanding to see. Number seven, Kevin Hart and Anuka Parrish. The story of Kevin Hart's infidelity is confusing at best. When he first denied the cheating scandal in July of 2017, he would then post a video on his Instagram apologizing with the caption, sending so many apologies to my wife and kids. I gotta do better and I will. I'm not perfect and I have never claimed to be. I love you. You all. It would later also be revealed that 
heart was at the center of an alleged extortion attempt as someone allegedly was in possession of a video that showed Kevin engaging with another woman that wasn't his wife. And they were trying to expose Kevin in an attempt so they could receive some money. It wouldn't be until Kevin had an interview with The Breakfast Club where he would finally admit to his cheating. When Hart finally decided to speak about the scandal that happened on a 2020 podcast, he would go on to say when Anuka Parrish found out about the situation, it wasn't exactly a walk in the park for the comedian, but when she finally came to the conclusion of it, Hart would say, I like the fact we have a family, that we have a household, and I like the fact we now got a job to do better. That's what you owe me. You owe me to get better. Number six, Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith. Though the Smiths themselves wouldn't call it a scandal, the rest of the world would be shocked when August Alsina spoke about a relationship he had with Jada Pinkett Smith during an interview in June 2020. August would say, I totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life and I truly and really, really deeply love and have a ton of love for her. He would then go on to claim that Will knew about the relationship and gave August and Jada his blessing. Naturally, people were shocked that the Smiths are one of the longest lasting and famous Hollywood couples in recent history. First, the couple issued a quick statement denying the relationship, but then Jada would announce on her Twitter that she was taking herself to the red table. In July of 2020, the Smiths would sit down at the red table to discuss their relationship and they would speak about a dark period of their marriage when they thought they were going to separate and never speak again. That's when Jada and August started their relationship. While Will did deny giving August permission, he did know that the two were seeing each other. When August and Jada's relationship finally came to an end, Will and her decided to try to work things out. However, to this day, it seems like Jada tries everything she can to humiliate Will, and I just don't support it. At number five, we have Christian Stewart and Robert Pattinson. The Twilight movies are some of the biggest successful films of our time, and while the book was better than the movie, it did steal our hearts. And at the center of the media frenzy, you would find Robert and Christian making headlines as the two co-stars began a relationship during filming, and fans were completely obsessed. However, all of this would change after the paparazzi released pictures of Christian and Rupert Saunders, who was the director of Snow White and the Huntsman, engaging in some major PDA. And everyone had some major opinions about it. Christian would eventually publicly apologize to Robert, and then the two reconciled for a time, but then eventually broke up. Later, Christian would recall her relationship with Robert and would describe it as being young and stupid. While we risk Christian and Robert could share their love off screen, like Bella and Edward, we all knew her relationship was doomed to come to an end at some point, because let's face it, she really should have chosen. Jacob. And I'm gonna stand by that statement. Number four, Nick Young and Iggy Azalea. Now it all began with a prank war that would be exposed when Nick Young had cheated on Iggy Azalea. When the LA Lakers were involved in a prank war, a video that was recorded by fellow player D'Angelo Russell, the video would eventually be leaked to the public and it would show Nick Young apparently admitting to cheating on rapper Iggy Azalea. Later Nick would try to claim that it was all false and he somehow was able to convince Iggy it was all just one giant rumor and she ended up continuing on with their relationship. However, it wouldn't be long until Iggy would suddenly tweet that she had dumped Nick because she caught him on a security camera bringing girls into their home. To add more insult to the injury, news would soon start to circulate that Nick was expecting a baby with his ex-girlfriend, Kiona Green, and the baby was definitely conceived while he was still in a relationship with Iggy. Out of all the lows that could have happened, it's kind of funny that Nick thought that he could bring girls into the house and Iggy wouldn't catch him when she watched the surveillance footage. Number three, Miley Cyrus and Liam Hensworth. Miley Cyrus and Liam Hensworth's long-term relationship was a rift filled with cheating rumors. While Liam was accused of straying away multiple times while they were still engaged, news would start to surface that he even got with January Jones while the two were still together. The two would then end up calling things off, but then they would get back together a couple years later, and then they would even find themselves getting married. While the marriage only lasted less than a year, at some point, everyone started to accuse Miley of cheating. Just after a week of the two's devastating breakup, Miley would be forced to address the rumors of her almost eight month marriage, as well as some of the most scandalous episodes from her past. While Miley has been pretty open and transparent with her fans, she couldn't believe people were accusing her of infidelity. The same day the news broke of their split, on the other hand though, Miley was spotted kissing Caitlyn Carter in Italy. Despite all the rumors about her unfaithfulness, Miley would come out to say the truth is, once Liam and I reconciled, 
I meant it and I was committed. I can admit to a lot of things, but I refuse to admit that my marriage ended because of cheating. Liam and I have been together for a decade. I've said it before and it remains true. I love Liam and always will. Number two, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner. As adorable as they look together, I don't think any of us truly believe Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner were ever meant to be together as his heart has always belonged to JLo. While Ben definitely benefited from Jennifer as a grounding force in his life, they did go on to have three amazing kids together, but it's clear that Ben wasn't ready to ever settle down in their relationship as it was reported that he had cheated on her with the nanny. While Jennifer would say she didn't find out about the affair before the formal couple made the decision to get a divorce, the alleged incident was said to happen before they even came to the final decision that their relationship was over. Later in a conversation with Vanity Fair, Jennifer would confirm that Ben did have an affair with the nanny as she said, let me just tell you something. We have been separated for months before I even heard about the nanny. She had nothing to do with our decision to divorce. She was not a part of the equation and she elaborated on how she had to deal with it and she said it wasn't great for her kids to have a nanny disappear from their lives and that she had to have many conversations with her children about the meaning of the scandal. Still at the end of the day, Jennifer would open up about how there was no need to attack Ben as people have pain and they do regrettable things and they feel shame and shame equals pain. And coming in number one today, we have Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston. Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston were once a dream couple and I honestly wish they would get back together because Brad made a huge mistake leaving her for Angelina Jolie. However, even with them being a dream couple, they proved that Disney fairy tales can't come true as their romance came to a screeching halt when they decided to get divorced in 2005. For years, Brad and Angelina would deny the cheating rumors and it would come out just after the film Mr. and Mrs. Smith that Brad had fallen in love with Jolie. However, karma had different plans for Brad and Angelina as their relationship ended up being quite ill-fated as well. In 2020, Brad would finally admit to cheating on Jennifer when he sat down for an interview and apologized to Jennifer by saying, it grieves me that it was interpreted this way. Jennifer is incredibly giving, loving, and hilarious woman who remains my friend. It is an important relationship I value greatly. The point I was trying to make is not that Jen was doll, but I was becoming doll to myself and I am responsible for. I, for one, am still a huge shipper of Brad and Jennifer and if we can see Ben and JLo get back together, then maybe we'll just find these two finding themselves back together soon. Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is Ashton Kutcher. Fans will never forget the time in 2011 when he cheated on Demi Moore with a woman who was much younger than her. Photos leaked online showing Ashton partying with a 22 year old blonde girl in his bedroom at the Hard Rock Hotel in San Diego. The photos could not have come at a worse time either as it was his wedding anniversary of six years with Demi. The worst part was Demi actually remembers the day that he met his mistress, Sarah Leal, and explained it in her memoir. She said that they were actually at a bowling alley with their daughter, and when Ashton went to switch out their shoes, Sarah came up, flirted a little bit, and gave her phone number to him on a napkin. Demi wrote, when we got home that night and he showed it to me, I said, that is just gross. We were there with our kid. She said that he told her there was nothing to worry about, so when he eventually had the affair with her, it was just like a real slap in the face. Uh, not long after that, they announced their split. Disgusting. At number nine, we have former Try Guys, Ned Fulmer. Ned and his wife Ariel were recently pictured leaving their house together amid his workplace affairs scandal. The former executive producer and co-creator of the now three-piece collective and his wife were both spotted with their wedding rings still on as they departed their LA home and headed into their car. Surprisingly enough, the pair were even flashing smiles for the photographers stationed outside. However, there were no public displays of affection in their united front. Ned is currently still embroiled in his cheating controversy after he stepped forward to reveal on Instagram that he behaved inappropriately with his co-worker Alex Herring. This firstly was leaked through an online user exposing him and Alex in the club making out for everybody to see. Eventually leading the remaining TTG members to subsequently announce that Ned would no longer be taking part in the Try Guys. TTG also cut Ned out of their social media accounts, including recent videos for their YouTube channel. Ned and Ariel have two children together and the mother of his kids has since also addressed the situation in her own statement after Ned's. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more top 10 celebrity content. At number 8 we have former YouTubers Sam and 
Mia. The couple put forth a YouTube video where Sam admitted to being a sinner after a website hack drew back the curtains on his double life. Known especially for his Christianity, Sam Raider previously confessed in a vlog of his and Mia that he created an Ashley Madison account and was a committed paying subscriber of the cheating website. This came after the Daily Mail Online outed his wrongdoings. Sam described setting up his Ashley account back in 2013 in order to meet other women, but claims he never got too close to engage in any physical cheating on his wife. Sam also claimed that he made payments to become a part of the website only out of quote, fleshy desire and sinful curiosity. Nia meanwhile revealed after the fact that she had forgiven the father. The account was allegedly made in September 2013 which lined up in the same month as the birth of his second child and the celebration of his fourth year being married. According to stolen data from the site hack, Sam paid two separate fees of $189. To excuse his sin, Sam insisted that not only did Nia forgive him but his higher power also did. So he has been quote, completely cleansed. At number 7 we have Twitch streamer Water Gotham. Popular Apex Legends Twitcher Water faced mass criticism after he was accused of dosing, which in short means to target a service attack. Water specifically was alleged to have dosed Apex's servers and was said to have experienced endless server crashes prior to the start of his games. Alongside this, Water received an insanely high amount of RP between streams, which set suspicions in his fans. These issues forced players to search for evidence against Water, and it was then that they realized that Water was typing things into his keyboard before every match, and then acting surprised when the server would crash. To this day, Water will deny the allegations, yet he no longer plays Apex and is now a Call of Duty streamer, equating fans to believe Water was banned from Apex. At number 6 we have Pro Jared. This gamer's wife, Heidi O'Farrell, once took to a tweet storm to accuse Jared of messing around with another gamer named Holly Conrad. Jared logged into Twitter to drop the announcement that he and Heidi were divorcing while still addressing the cheating rumors circulating. Jared then asked that Twitter fans respect he and Heidi's privacy as he knew his announcement would result in gossip and speculation from fans to draw their own conclusions. However, shortly after this, Heidi decided to drop her own bomb in a string of messages which alleged that Jared had been cheating on her for months with Holly. Heidi also revealed that she had been blocked by Jared. Heidi hinted at having proof from explicit convos and photographic evidence to back up her claims and further accused Holly of sending inappropriate photos to her then husband. At number 5 we have Jacqueline and Jonah Hill. After a seemingly strong 9 years of marriage, Jacqueline ended up filing for divorce from her late husband Jonah. YouTube fans of 2018 were devastated by the announcement, but naturally speculation ensued, forcing the former couple to address their breakup in Instagram statements that May. Jacqueline further shared a video where she got candid ASF about the process. Still, both respective statements riled up fans enough to dig up older footage and tweets where they felt the couple shaded one another. By July of that year, Jacqueline insisted in a tweet that she was not a cheater. Outside of their perfect couple persona though, some fans expected the sad news for a while. While Jacqueline used to regularly feature Jonah on her social media and in her videos, they hadn't seen him in months. Then they both unfollowed each other around the same time as well. Plus, there was this one quip from Jacqueline's previous videos that fans spotted, the only words I hate more than cool brown are cheaters and liars. Yikes. Fellow beauty influencers quickly flocked to Jacqueline's comment sections to send their fierce support. Kim Kardashian stylist Mario sent his love, and Christian Dominic wrote, Sending you all my love, you're so strong. While Candy Johnson responded with, Sending you hugs and love. Here we are at number four with Hugh Grant. Even with photographic evidence, some actors are able to weasel their way out of the wrongdoings. But Hugh's photographs are not the typical kissing photo like anyone else on this list. Not only was he publicly outed for cheating on his girlfriend in 1995, he was also arrested because he had solicited an escort. His cheating scandal pictures? his mugshot, and hers. There is no way you're possibly talking yourself out of this one. Back then, Hugh Grant and his girlfriend Elizabeth Hurley were one of Hollywood's power couples, or so everyone thought. During the scandal, fans were shocked that Elizabeth actually stood by her man's side. It didn't last very long though, the damage had already been done and they split not too long after. And at number 3, Cardi B. Cardi B and Offset are another celebrity couple that is constantly attracting cheating rumors. The worst was in 2017 when Offset was caught in bed with another woman in a video that went viral online. Cardi responded by saying this kind of thing happens to everyone and that she had no intention of leaving him. Then in 2018, the pair officially got married and then welcomed their first daughter, Culture. But their rocky relationship did not stop there. After more rumors of cheating, the pair split only a year after they got married. Cardi even filed for a divorce. The woman that Offset was hooking up with at that time even apologized for her part in the mess. But eventually they got back together and just welcomed a second child together. 
All right, guys, at number two, we have Marlon Wayans, the actor who made big waves in the acting industry when he starred in White Chicks back in 2004, one of my favorite movies to this day. However, I am not too pleased with the actor after learning about his cheating scandal. The scandal happened in 2012 when he had been dating his girlfriend and mother of his two children, Angelica Zachary, for 12 years. Pictures made headlines that showed Marlon kissing and caressing a mystery brunette on a private yacht in St. Barthes. Some people were shocked, while others stated that he's always had some commitment issues. During an interview with Wendy Williams before the scandal took place, he revealed that he and Angelica don't even live together, even though they have kids together. When asked why, he said, I like to keep it fresh. When you live together, that's when the sweatpants and the cream on the face comes out and it kind of says you're not going to get some. How did he possibly explain this to his kids? He later admitted that once his kids found out about the cheating, they physically latched out at him. Angelica decided to stick it out with him, but they ended up getting a divorce in 2000. 2013. Taking the number one spot is Kevin Hart. This one cut deep for me because he's one of my favorite comedians, so it's hard not losing any respect for him. Not only was Kevin married at the time of his cheating scandal, but his wife was actually pregnant. He was on a trip in Las Vegas when camera footage broke the internet, showing the actor getting up close and personal with an exotic dancer. The footage was taken from a Vegas nightclub surveillance video. Once the footage was out there, Kevin came forward in a shocking Instagram video where he confessed his affair to his millions of followers to try and stop the mistress from trying to get money from him in exchange for her silence. At the time all of this was going on, his second wife was in her third trimester of pregnancy. Turns out his wife was actually the mistress that broke up Kevin's first marriage, so their story is kind of a mess altogether. Kevin continued to publicly own up to his actions and apologize for his mistakes, which his wife actually forgave him for. Starting off our list at number 10 is Ashton Kutcher. Don't freak out, the actor didn't cheat on his wife and mother of his children, Mila. Kunis. He actually cheated on his wife that came before her, Demi Moore. The actress was 16 years older than Ashton and had three teenage girls when they first got together. When they got married, he was only 25 years old. The age difference had rumors flying that there was trouble in paradise when it came to their marriage. The majority of rumors were that Ashton was cheating on Demi with multiple different women. The rumors may not have stuck, but one alleged hookup sure did when there was proof. Paparazzi captured pictures of Ashton leaving his hotel, the Roosevelt, with Sarah Leal in the car with him. After the picture surfaced, Sarah came forward with the truth saying that they hooked up in a hot tub in September 2011 on his six year anniversary with Moore. During an interview with The Sun, she stated and I quote, We had sex twice, everything felt natural, we were having a good time, one thing led to another. He was good, it wasn't weird or perverted or creepy, I was attracted to him and he was attracted to me. She also went on to say that Ashton told her he was separated from Demi at the time when they hooked up. Needless to say, Ashton and Demi officially divorced not long after the truth came out. Coming in hot at number nine, we have Justin Timberlake. I was absolutely devastated when I saw these scandalous pictures on the internet because I love his wife, Jessica Beale, and like, how do you do her dirty like that? I thought they were perfect together. But turns out their marriage isn't all glitz and glam, and in 2019, we got to see one of the reasons why. Photos leaked online showing Justin getting a little too cozy with his co-star at the time, Alicia Wainwright. The pictures were taken in New Orleans where they were filming, and one night they decided to take the night off filming and go out to a bar. They went to a local bar, and in the pictures, you can see him holding her hand, her putting her hand on his leg, all very super flirty stuff. But what fans also realized was that he was not wearing his wedding ring. For obvious reasons, this sparked huge cheating rumors, but Justin released a public statement saying that nothing happened further than what we see in those photos. Jessica did decide to stay with him um, and they have worked through it and they are together to this day. Would you forgive him? Like, do you think holding hands and flirty touching, like, is that crossing the line of cheating? I'm curious, let me know. Yeah, don't touch anyone. I saw. Up next, number eight, we have Kevin Hart. Another cheating scandal that sent people over the edge was in 2017 when video footage leaked online with Kevin and another woman that was not his girlfriend or wife. After the footage went viral, the internet started claiming that he had cheated on his wife who was eight months pregnant at the time with their son. At first, Kevin was denying all of these rumors, but then he landed himself in the middle of an extortion attempt. Someone started alleging that they had a possession of a video of him getting sexual with another woman and threatened to expose the video if he did not pay them. 
His wife, Aniko, later talked about how she felt about the situation and how she found out about it in the first place. She said it was actually through a DM message on Instagram. Her exact words were, I quote, I was about seven or eight months pregnant and I was having breakfast and I opened my phone and immediately I just lost it as most people would. Kevin finally admitted to it and released a public apology to his wife and his family and the two of them worked through it and they are still together. We out here girls, we out here just freaking throwing forgiveness around, aren't we? Mm. Mm. Girls cheat too though, so don't think I'm just on the guys or the girls side. At number seven, we have Katherine McPhee. Her career first started in the music industry when she came in second place during her season on American Idol. She later transitioned into the acting world when she landed a starring role on the television series Smash in 2012. During her time on the show, paparazzi managed to get some photos of Katherine and the director of the series, Michael Morris, kissing, which definitely wasn't a part of her job description. Both of them were guilty because they were both married at the time. Michael was married to the mother of his three children and Katherine had been been married to a man named Nick Kokos for five years at that point. Her husband ended up filing for divorce and the paperwork was finalized in 2014. Cruising into number six is Marlon Wayans. It was in 2013 when the unfortunate scandal forever changed his relationship. The actor was caught red-handed cheating on his wife after pictures leaked online of him hanging out with a mystery woman. In the series of pictures, you could see him having romantic moments with a woman in a yacht in St. Barts. Apparently, he thought that he could get away with it if he went on vacation and tried to isolate themselves. After the picture surfaced, the two of them eventually split up, and in 2016, the actor finally spoke about it. He said when his wife found out and their children, they all physically attacked him. He said it put a huge wedge between their family. The good news is, after their split, they were able to build a solid relationship to at least co-parent their kids together. In more recent interviews, he has talked about his former wife and said he has the utmost love and respect for her and said that he thinks of her as family and always will. And at number five, Jamie Bergman. Bones actor David Branagh was exposed for cheating in the worst way possible. He actually had to come forward and admit to cheating because he was being extorted by the woman he had the affair with. Apparently, multiple infidelities took place in the marriage, and at a certain point, he had to own up to it. He told people, quote, I just want to be open and honest. I was irresponsible. I was associated with a woman who I was involved with and had a relationship with. She asked for money. I felt as though I was being blackmailed or there was some sort of extortion. After he admitted to the cheating, the pair did not split up and worked to try and get their marriage back on track. The pair are still together to this day. At number four, we have Faze Banks. It seems that there's a history with Alyssa Violet and cheating because this would mark her third scandal on today's list. However, this time it's with Faze, as she was supposedly cheated on by the artist. The two romantically linked up in 2017, but in 2019, the pair separated after two years of love. They seemed head over heels and even got engaged three months before they split. Yet, Alyssa shared the real reason behind the breakup in a tweet, and it was messy. Quote, I was asleep upstairs with our dog and he wasn't next to me, so I checked our guest wing and caught him in bed with a red random girl. After seeing Alyssa headlined on various social sites, Faze issued a reply saying, I love you. But Alyssa wasn't having any of it and publicly questioned his love for her. Previously, Alyssa saw Jake Paul for a year but ended their relationship in February 2017 when they both accused each other of cheating. Her name was also linked romantically to Logan Paul. At number 3, we have another Twitcher named Salista. Ranked 65th on Radiant, the Valorant player from North America was slapped in the face with a startling ban from the game while he was live streaming. This took place in the middle of a match when Salista was booted from the screen with an error message. As soon as the gamer quit playing, a Vanguard message of hacker detected was shown. Valorant's Vanguard anti-cheat protection is about the best anti-cheat policy in any game so far. And this is proven through its detection and banning of Solista during streaming. At number two, we have Call Me Carson, Katarino, and Fitz. Their situation is in reference to Twitch streamers Call Me Carson and Katarino's messy split because of confirmation that Katarino had cheated on Carson. The public admittance in late March 2020 was all it took for the couple to break up and it was actually Carson's friend and fellow streamer Fitz, known to be Cameron McKay, who Katarino fooled around with. Katarino went public with her affairs of cheating on her manager with both Carson and Fitz as well. In 2020, on March 31st, a redditor named Interesting League made a post about a tweet referring to the scandal, which Carson had liked with the caption, oh no. On the same day, another redditor, Zionix, had commented, I think they're saying Kate may have cheated on Carson for Fitz, which I'm hoping did not happen. Carson cannot take that kind of stress right now since he's been battling with his depression. Carson eventually 
responded with, ding ding ding, we have a winner. In April of that year, a source named Keemstar, who had been closely eyeing the unfolding events, released a rumor in the form of a drama alert video that on top of seeing both Carson and Fizz, Katarina was also dating her manager. Two days later, Katarina posted an update video to explain that the gossip was truthful and she was starting to see a therapist to help aid her dissociation disorder. The next day, saw Fitz reacted to the drama by apologizing to Carson on Twitter. Carson had also taken to the app to post a string of tweets detailing how sorry he was for bringing such a personal matter to the public eye. It wasn't even a full 24 hours in light of the drama when Twitter and YouTube users began uploading parodies of Katarina's apology video. At number 1, we have Twitcher XQC. XQC is one of the biggest streamers out there and the same thing can be said for his cheating scandal. His live streaming sniping incident, which took place during a Fall Guys GlitchCon tournament, has haunted his career ever since it happened. He was served a temporary ban for his actions of violating the tournament rules. Alongside this, it was known that someone else could have won the prize money if the streamer had played by the rules and didn't cheat his way into a win. At number 10, we have the Paul brothers and Alyssa Violet. Alyssa entangled herself with both Paul bros Jake and Logan. Despite the occurrences supposedly happening at two very different times, the backlash from both events was super messy. The publicized fallout between Jake and Alyssa resulted in her leaving the popular Team 10 house and breaking all ties with the group. And let's not forget Alyssa exposing Jake in a video once where she accused the star of playing mind games and cheating on her. According to Alyssa, Jake messed around with her heart and made her feel like they were super serious, only to openly flirt with other girls in front of her. With all that being said, they were pretty toxic. But just when you thought the worst was over, Jake later fired shots back at Alyssa by accusing her of hooking up with Logan. Now another non-secret is that Jake and the Martinez twins were forced to part ways in line with the twins, claiming they were bullied in the Team 10 house. Well, how does this relate? Well, Jake issued a since deleted tweet in response to the accusation, but he also dragged Alyssa into the mess. A fan account of the twins previously wrote, this is like Alyssa all over again. In response, Jack hit this fan account back with, yeah, and this time I'm not being silent. Alyssa effed my brother, that's why I kicked her out. Oopsie, I just told them the truth, I'm done being the bad guy. Alyssa's response was one of complete confusion, and Logan didn't even bother commenting on the accusations. Alyssa alleged it was only a one-time affair, however, Jake claimed it was long-lasting, and he was completely devastated by his discovery. Logan, on the other hand, ended up using Alyssa like a pawn by featuring her in a revenge video amidst the Paul brothers' ongoing drama. Regarding a song titled The Second Verse, Logan explained, he goes and puts up this disgusting billboard of me, humiliating me for everyone down Melrose to see. Even more, at the end of the video, Logan and Alyssa go in for a kiss, but the video actually cuts off at the last second, so no one knows if they actually did. At number 9, Ali Laundry. While Mario Lopez was engaged to Ali Laundry, he cheated on her, and their marriage ended only weeks after it began. The couple met in 1998 and dated for six years before getting married in 2004. But two weeks after the marriage, the pair got an annulment, and it was rumored that Lopez had cheated. Neither spoke about it for years until Lopez admitted that he did cheat on Laundry, well at his bachelor party days before the wedding. He told Howard Stern, quote, I figured at that point it was easier to ask for forgiveness. It's my bachelor party. We were going to have a good time. I was wrong for obviously lying, and I shouldn't have been in that position. He later admitted that he messed around with several women that weekend. The pair split and are now in other happy relationships. Taking over the number 8 spot is Balthazar Getty. Most people remember this scandal because the picture went viral of the famous topless holiday cheating scandal. Back in 2008, the actor's career was in its prime when he starred in Brothers and Sisters. Not only was his career going well, but so was his marriage. He had a long term marriage with his wife Rosetta Getty, and the two of them even had four children together. That was quickly ruined when he was caught having an affair with Sienna Miller. They were caught together in Italy on a vacation when topless photos of Sienna Miller made headlines. Getty and his wife separated for two years after the incident, but decided to work things out. The actor and his wife opened up during an interview with People magazine and said that it actually made their marriage stronger. As for Sienna, she later dated Jude Law, who ended up cheating on her with their nanny. Karma? And at number 7 is Leanne Rhyme. She's known for a bit of everything, acting, singing, and she's even recognized now as an author. She is a triple threat. However, one thing she isn't very good at is being faithful to her husband. Her chief cheating scandal caused a lot of controversy when photos of her kissing her co-star Eddie Sobrian at a romantic dinner together. Turns out Eddie was married too. The scandal made headlines back in 2009 when the footage was leaked from a restaurant security camera. The photo snapshots show the two actors holding hands, kissing and cuddling up next to each other. Rhymes was married to Dean Shermit since 2002 and Eddie was married to Brandy Glanville since 2001 and even had two kids with her. Once both of their spouses were made aware of the cheating, they both pulled the plug on their marriage, Leanne and Eddie eventually married each other in 2011. How romantic. 
Swiping the number 6 spot is Ryan Phillippe. For a long time, the actor was married to Reese Witherspoon and they were one of Hollywood's most admired couples. They got married in 1999 and were together until 2006 where they had two kids together, a daughter and a son. The couple always came across as having the perfect relationship, which is why people were stunned when Ryan was photographed kissing another woman while he was still married to Reese. Photos made headlines of Ryan and the Australian beauty Abby Cornish having a public makeout session. In 2007, Ryan and Reese divorced as a result of the cheating scandal, and eventually Ryan spoke openly on his romance with his mistress. The two of them continued to be in a relationship together until 2010. Halfway through our list, at number five, we have Kristen Stewart. I feel like I talk about this scandal all the time on this channel because it was a big deal at the time when it happened. So I talk about it a lot. It was making the cover of magazines and headlining titles everywhere. No exaggeration. If you don't know the drama or you forgot about it, let me fill you in because I know the story like no tomorrow. Back in 2011, Kristen was dating her Twilight co-star Robert Pattinson and everyone thought they were going to get married and have beautiful children like they did in the Twilight series. But then paparazzi photos surfaced and showed Kristen making out with another man. But the man in the story was also a very scandalous thing because it was her director from her movie Snow White and the Huntsman and he was married. He was 41 years old at the time and she was only 22 and he was married to Liberty Ross who was also the mother of their two children. So obviously it was a huge shock to everyone involved. Kristen and Rob split immediately and it broke the hearts of millions of fans including me. Like I'm still not over it. I'm still not over it. I was so upset. At one point in the photo, she's in the car making out with him and like she blatantly looks at the camera who's taking the pictures and like smiles and keeps making out with him. Like, I feel like she wanted to get caught. Moving on to spot number four, we have Tristan Thompson. He got caught cheating on more than one occasion, so really, he should be on here twice. The first time was the worst though. Security footage leaked online from a nightclub that he was at and showed him getting handsy and kissing another woman. He decided to cheat at the worst possible timing ever. Not that there is ever a good time for that, but his girlfriend, Khloe Kardashian, was in the hospital about to give birth to their daughter. The video leaked while she was literally in labor, pretty much, so thanks. If those videos weren't bad enough, other videos also surfaced showing him going into a hotel room later that night with the same woman from the nightclub video. Chloe forgave him and stuck by his side, but then later down the road, it was revealed that he cheated again with Kylie Jenner's best friend, Jordan Woods, who was basically like a little sister to Chloe. Like, solid man. Great. Have fun explaining that to your daughter one day. Taking a number three spot is Kristen Stewart. Her scandal broke the hearts of many, many, many Twilight fans. She began dating her co-star and movie boyfriend Robert Pattinson while filming the Twilight series of movies. Fans were obsessed with their love story since they got to see it in the movies and also in real life. She ruined their love story when she was caught cheating with her Snow White and the Huntsman director, Rupert Sanders. The paparazzi leaked the photos in 2012, which showed the two of them making out in a car and snuggling up together on a deserted hike. Not only was Kristen in a relationship, but so was Rupert. He was married to Liberty Ross and also had kids with her. Robert, Liberty, and fans were all heartbroken by the shocking scandal. Kristen issued a statement saying, I'm deeply sorry for the hurt and embarrassment I've caused to those close to me and everyone this has affected. This momentary indiscretion has jeopardized the most important thing in my life, the person I love and respect the most, Rob. The two of them split not long after and Rupert's wife filed for a divorce the following year. Take Taking over our number two spot is Eddie Fisher. His affair with Elizabeth Taylor was a celebrity scandal of the ages. The two stars met through Debbie Reynolds, Eddie's first wife, who was friends with her since high school. Eddie's son, Todd Fisher, talked about his father's affair while promoting his memoir in 2018 and said that it ruined his father's career. At the time of the affair, Todd says he was too young to understand the love triangle that was going on, but said the effects of it impacted the rest of their lives as well as his father's bank account. In his book, he said the high profile affair caused an insane tabloid frenzy and said they were both slammed in tabloids for the relationship that came out after the affair. Elizabeth and Eddie were married from 1959 to 1964, and while he may have been happy with Elizabeth at the time, his career greatly suffered after he left Debbie Reynolds. 
Todd wrote that his dad had contracts canceled due to morality clauses and that his career was completely wiped out. Earning the number one spot is Hugh Grant. Cheating on your spouse is not illegal, but doing it in a public place might be if you are engaging in sexual activity when you shouldn't be. The actor was arrested for his cheating scandal, which took place back in 1995. He was caught having sex in public with a sex worker who paid him $60 to perform intimate things on him. If you know what I mean, we are keeping it PG so that we do not get shut down, okay? You know what I'm trying to say. His arrest and mugshot was a massive scandal in itself. Even if he was single at the time, it would have made headlines. But at the time, he was actually dating Elizabeth Hurley, which made everything way worse. But despite the fact that he cheated, she did stay with him for five years. But after that, they eventually broke up down the road. She was able to move forward though and make a joke about it on her show, The Royals. Her character hired a male escort who called himself Huge Grant. <laughs> That's some funny karma. And at number 10, Nick Lachey. Jessica Simpson revealed in her recent memoir that she had an emotional affair with Johnny Knoxville while married to Nick Lachey. In the memoir titled Open Book, she spoke about how she felt the emotional cheating was worse than physical, writing, quote, to me an emotional affair was worse than a physical one. She added that since she waited till marriage to do the deed, she finally realized that the emotional part mattered much more than the physical, and apparently Johnny and her had a much stronger emotional connection than her and Nick, stating that it was more of a betrayal to have that connection than to sleep with him. And at number 9, Dennis Quaid. Meg Ryan has admitted to dating Russell Crowe while she was married to Dennis Quaid, but says that they were both unfaithful in the marriage. In 2000, Meg Ryan and Russell Crowe starred in the movie Proof of Life. Then photos of the pair getting close on set emerged and cheating rumors started swirling. Meg Ryan and Dennis Quaid ended up divorcing and Meg Ryan started officially dating Russell Crowe, although that relationship didn't last long and they split shortly after. Following the scandal, Meg Ryan told In Style, quote, What wasn't in the story was the reality of my marriage for nine years. Dennis was not faithful to me for a long time, and that was very painful. I found out more about that once I was divorced. The drama with the love triangle ended up derailing Meg's career, as the public couldn't just see her as the girl next door anymore. And at number eight, Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian was actually on the last part of this list because sadly she's been cheated on a lot. During her marriage to Lamar Odom, the pair looked like a picture perfect fairy tale, and Lamar treated Khloe like a queen on their TV show. But later it was exposed that Lamar had cheated on Khloe hundreds of times over their marriage. Lamar said that after he got with Khloe, hundreds of women came out of the woodwork and wanted to sleep with him, and he gave in to temptation. But he said that his one regret is cheating on Chloe. Quote, if there's one thing I regret when I was married, it was having multiple affairs with different women. That wasn't the stand-up thing to do. I wish I could have kept it in my pants. The pair finalized the divorce in 2016, and the Kardashians supported him after his life-threatening OD. In spot number seven, we have Leanne Rhimes, one of the biggest cheating celebrity scandals of all time. She cheated with her co-star at the time, Eddie Sabrian, back in 2009 when they worked together on the movie Northern Lights. Their relationship seemed to move past the co-star stage and they had a secret relationship going on behind closed doors. At the time of the cheating scandal, Leanne was married to dancer Dean Sherman for nine years and Eddie was married to a model named Brandy Granville. Everyone was shocked to learn about the relationship and the only reason anyone found out was because it was caught on camera. Surveillance footage from a restaurant was leaked online and showed the two of them having dinner together and then kissing and holding hands. Even though there was very valid proof in this video, the two of them still denied infidelity and continued to say that they did not cheat. And honestly, that just made people more angry. Like, how are you even gonna deny it? Like, just apologize? Hello? It's on video. I hate that. I hate that. And at number six, Nick Kokas. While Catherine McPhee was married to Nick Kokas, she was caught kissing her married Smash director, Michael Morris. So obviously, that's incredibly messy. The pair ended up splitting because of the cheating, but in the end, Catherine says she doesn't have any regrets about the situation. She told Ocean Drive magazine, quote, I got married really young and then divorced, and in the last couple of years, I felt like, wow, this is what I should have been doing when I was 20 instead of planning a wedding. She added that she learned deeply from her choices and she is happy to have strong influences in her life who will force her to look at her failures. Catherine is now married to David Foster and they have a child together. 
Halfway through the list at number 5 is Elizabeth Taylor. The actress was part of a huge Hollywood scandal all the way back in 1962. It was one of the most scandalous and iconic headlines made during the time. Paparazzi caught Elizabeth spending some romantic time with Richard Burtman on a private yacht. The first photo appeared in June of 1962 and people were shocked seeing as both of them had been married at the time. Elizabeth was married to her fourth husband at the time, Eddie Fisher, and Richard was married to his first wife, Sibel Williams. Once the pictures were out, the two of them left their marriages to be together. They became an iconic couple in Hollywood and got married only one year after the scandal on March 15th, 1964. Their love story was legendary, but for all the wrong reasons. And at number four, Brittany Cartwright. If you guys watch Vanderpump Rules, then you know about this disastrous cheating scandal. While Britney and Jax were dating, cheating rumors plagued the couple. It didn't help that Jax was a proven cheater at that point already. The cheating was officially confirmed in season 6 of the show, when Jax admitted to hooking up with one of their colleagues, Faith Stowers. Britney wasn't sure whether to stay with Jax at that point, but she told us in 2018, quote, I see him every single day making efforts and he's completely changed the way he treats me, the way he talks to me, the way he listens to me. Every single thing about a relationship is better. The pair later got married in 2019 and are still together. In our third spot is Balthazar Getty. His affair took place back in 2008 and caused a lot of drama in Hollywood. He was married to Rosetta Millington when photos surfaced and showed him having an affair with actress Sienna Miller. At the time, he remained silent on the matter and he and Rosetta separated for two years. But they eventually reunited and he says that Rosetta, who is also the mother of his four children, forgave him and gave him another chance. He finally opened up about it and spoke about it during an interview in 2016 where he called the affair ancient history and said it was in another lifetime for him. He explained that he and his wife took the space that they needed and that when they came back together, their marriage was stronger than ever. As for Rosetta, she was open about the subject in 2010 when she took him back as many people just asked her why she would do that. She talked about it during interviews and said, it was a very challenging time for everybody involved, but I loved and missed my family too much not to make it work. Yeah, that will get you. Missing your children, missing them. It's a tough one when family is involved, eh? And number two, Hillary Clinton. This was the scandal that rocked the political world and made everyone think differently of Bill Clinton. While Bill was in office, it was exposed that he had an affair with his White House intern Monica Lewinsky, who was 22 years old at the time. His political opponents took this opportunity and tried to get Bill to lie under oath so he would be impeached, and their scheme worked. When speaking about it at a televised conference, he famously said, quote, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. But this lie then caused him to get charged with perjury and obstruction of justice. Bill was impeached due to this debacle and removed as president. Even though Hillary was the laughing stock at the time, she stood by Bill. Hillary said, quote, It was really hard. It was painful. And I was so supported by my friends. My friends just rallied around. And finally, number one, Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen divorced his wife, Larsa Pippen, in 2016 after 19 years of marriage because of allegations that she cheated. Apparently, multiple sources confirmed that she was hooking up with the rapper Future. One insider said at the time, quote, He found out about Larsa and Future and couldn't handle it. Although after briefly splitting, they actually got back together four months later. But then two years after that, Larsa was the one that filed for divorce again. I guess the pair weren't able to work it out and realized that they were better apart.